people don't know what to believe anymore and they get so much of it they're in sensory motor overload by all of the media and all of the challenges in their own lives that they become overwhelmed and they drop out that's apathy where are we metaphysically spiritually suppressed what is life about so how do you go out of this crisis space and find the solution space you understand love is the universal healer and if you understand it's like a radio signal it's on a clear channel broadcast from god's heart to your heart every one of us is basically brothers and sisters of the divine family tuned into the same divine frequency of love in the existence of life there is the appreciation of the individuation of creation within that educational experience are we given the tools we need to learn and act upon that education life is a demonstration of the divine creative forces outside of us educating the divinity within us freedom of will and a potential for developing your consciousness we are part of a language of light if i may use this terminology that awakens our inner consciousness to a greater design where by each and every form of intelligent life is part of the ongoing process of interconnectedness consciousness entanglement but also consciousness transformation the physical body for the most part is just temporary we believe that there's a higher soul that is really the ongoing existence of all of humanity and is that higher soul that is not only limited to planet earth but that also is able to go into greater realms of intelligence greater forms of life we include even the light body when you step out of time then everything is simultaneous when the mind stops then you have the experience of timelessness and in the timeless domain then there is possibility for getting back into the ultimate evolution In a sense my soul in space and time is the individual but my true soul spirit in space and time is beyond space and time it's the collective wholeness of who we are and that's who we are we are beyond space and time but it's not just me it's all of us on this planet it's not just all of us on this planet but it's all the levels of intelligence that exist in the universe and believe me the universe is teeming with life planes and planes and planes of conscious existence discarnate and incarnate existence and those of the blending of the two such as we have here in our bodies on this world many schools of experience and learning a multiverse of rigid and flexible possibilities We understand that DNA now absolutely vibrates 
and conducts energy. We're going to reclaim our right as co-creators in a divine family to bring about the transformation that has been prophesied. In other words, the world, the planet, the universe cannot evolve unless we do as individuals. It's not fear, it's not degeneration. It's faith instead of fear. It's love and collaboration instead of competition and division. Beyond us is an intelligent order of infinite perfection. Very profound changes will come very soon, particularly in the way we explore meaning. We have been busy exploring meaning of physical. We have done that now. We have uh, explored some meaning of the vital, not completely. We haven't studied the noble emotions like love very much as of yet. We have not certainly um, explored uh, the uh, idea of love in connection with also thinking about love. We have not integrated our feelings of love and thinking about love completely. This causes lots of problems today. So we have some work to do, but really the work that now can begin in earnest is the idea of exploring the meaning of what we intuit, the meaning of the archetypes. Love, beauty, justice, truth, goodness. Those special things that we value, those special things that make our life worthwhile. It's a conscious collaboration in which we're being called to play our part in the evolutionary process. Evolution is the evolution of our manifestation of the archetypes in our being. That's the purpose of evolution. How far evolution will go, we cannot tell. How far will it need to move? Maybe we have to change according to demands of the supramental much more than we think we need to change. Out there in space is already within us in inner space. We are psychonauts exploring the inner dimensions of space, as well as astronauts exploring the outer dimensions of space simultaneously and unraveling experience that life is the divine process without limitation. So it's up to us, each as individuals, to step into this awareness, into this recognition of our God essence, to collaborate in the most exciting evolutionary process of our times.